Hi ladies, I'm back. I'm so excited because I have had an obsession lately. I told Steven that I might need some intervention. I have been watching Dollar Tree hauls like like not and stop. Like anytime I get a chance, I'm watching Dollar Tree hauls. So of course, uh, Steven got home last night. I made him a really good dinner. And then I asked him if he would take me to the Dollar Tree. And so we went last night and I'm so excited. Uh, last night being Monday, uh, you guys won't see this until tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. So I said that right, Monday. You guys will see this Wednesday. Today is Tuesday. Uh, so uh, let's just get into it. I'm so excited. Mind you, I have shopped at the Dollar Tree many 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 times before but it's like a thing now on youtube and i don't know why it got me so excited but i did so let's jump into what i got most of this stuff is going to be valentine's day related so um the first thing i picked up was this uh double hearted garland kind of wrapped wreath thing um it has wire I just thought it was kind of cute maybe to put up on the mantle, um, which I'm sitting in front of right now. Um, so yeah, um, I got this. And then I got two sets of flowers. They had some that came with um, some little like hearts in there, but I didn't like the way the flowers looked. I think these ones looked way better because I mean, they're fake flowers and whatever, but there's some that look better than the others. So I got, I just got two pink ones and there's five to a bunch. So that's that. I got this little box. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, it just has a bunch of Valentine's Day sayings. Be mine, love, roses are red, Cupid XOXO, chocolate, uh, I love you, heart always, whatever, you know. So it looks like this, that's the front of it. it. Has a cute little bow, the back, and then has a little Velcro. And then that's just that on the inside. What I was thinking is that we have like a little entertainment center that we got from Ikea. It's, it's kind of low and I like to decorate that for the different holidays. So I was thinking of filling this um, with some candy and stuff so that it's out to display for when guests come over. Um, so I thought that would be cute. And I picked up some of these um, heart picks. There's nine of them. These are the pink ones. They kind of look velvety in a way. Um, I like that they had the pink hearts and the red sticks. I'll probably stick these in an arrangement um, in a vase that I have. So, those I picked up. picked up two of their dish towels they're just super super cute so this one is pink white and red striped with a little uh, pink and red hearts all over it's really cute and then this one has bigger stripes that are going horizontally and then there's a bigger heart or more hearts let's open this up and see oh right on the corner so that would be cute to hang in the kitchen Cute, cute stuff, guys. I picked up, for that box or anywhere else, um, I picked up these heart lollipops. They had two different kinds. Um, this one has the pink and the red and the white on there. I usually tend to like these ones better. I'm not really sure which flavor that is. It doesn't, it doesn't say, it just says Tiger Pops, World Pops. So, I went and got these ones. There's 20 in there. And I picked up some of these doilies. I am going to want to do some crafts with Elena, obviously age appropriate. She's about to be nine months old here any day now. And so I thought it would be fun to do some Valentine's Day crafts. Also, these are good as coasters or table settings or whatever. And I'm planning on having like a couple's uh, Valentine's Day dinner at my house the weekend before Valentine's Day. So... They'll get some good use. There's, let's see, 
there's 30 of them and I picked up the red pack. I'll probably go back and get the pink and the white as well. Let's see here. I picked up um, some of these foam hearts. They come in different sizes and red, white, and pink. And these ones are the ones that have stickers on the back. There's a hundred of them. So I thought this would be easy to peel off for Elena and just let her stick it wherever. Uh, they also had glitter ones that you could just kind of confetti on your tables or whatever. And I'll probably go back and get those ones too. Um, I also picked up two pairs of Valentine's Day socks. I like these ones. They were hot pink. They were. They are hot pink. And they look like cheetah print, which uh, is my favorite print. <laughs> and then they have um, like little abstract hearts. So I like those. They're like little ankle socks. And then I also picked these ones up. And I'll take the thing off so that you can see what drew me to them. They're just so, they're so cute. So my favorite part of it was the top because it's ruffled and it's pink. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then they have uh, pink and white hearts that are striped. Adorable. For a dollar, you really can't go wrong with that. I picked uh, some um, chocolates, but these ones are wrapped to look like conversation hearts, so I thought that would be cute to put in that box. And they're decorative at the same time, so I thought that was cute. Let's see, let's see what else do I have in here. I picked up this um, bubblegum uh, machine thing. I'm, I'm not sure how well it's going to work. I didn't take the time to look for bubblegums, which I will. I'm going back on Friday, so um, I'll let you guys know what I find. I'm sure I can find bubblegum anywhere but I thought this would be cute for Valentine's Day to display because it's candy so Stephen was putting it on the conveyor belt and he's like um what's this for so we'll see let's see here I also picked up I love getting holiday mugs I'm, I'm an avid coffee drinker um probably have a little bit of an addiction to coffee but whatever um, so I picked up, they had a bunch of different kinds, but I couldn't justify getting like a million Valentine's Day mugs. So I picked up the one that spoke to me the most, and, excuse me, Ember B. And I really, really liked this one. So I picked this up as my holiday mug. Set that down. And then I picked up these refrigerator magnets I thought they were so cute um and then I got home and I realized that the front of my refrigerator is not magnetized uh the sides are but the front isn't but I think that I could put these on the dishwasher um and I think that it'll work just fine and I could put them on the side of the fridge it's not a big deal but I thought that was funny that I thought about it afterwards just thought these were really cute and there's how many are in here? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm not sure how many are in here. It doesn't say. But there's quite a few. So, And then the last Valentine's Day items that I picked up, of course, were the famous, the infamous Dollar Tree scarves. Everyone's been hauling these. And I was so, so excited to get them. Um, so I am going to probably tie these together and then create a um, an infinity scarf with them. So, and I like to have the double print. I thought that would be cute. So I picked those up. I was super excited. I almost like jumped up and down in the aisles. And then just three more items. They're not uh, Valentine's Day related. So I picked up, and I meant to grab my EOS um, uh, lip balm so that I could compare the size because this is seriously the smallest chapstick I've ever seen in my life. Do you guys see that? Like, it's so small. But, I mean, like, it's teeny tiny. But I wanted to compare it to the, oh my God. Oh, it's a watermelon and that's why I grabbed it 
Oh, it smells so good. So that's what it looks like. And it's the Revo brand. So we'll see how it compares to the EOS. The EOS is about $3 for one. And honestly, like if you got three of these, they'd probably equal one EOS uh, lip balm. So we'll see. We'll try it out and see how good. I need one for my bedside because my lips are always chapped um, before bed or, you know, after you brush your teeth and whatever you go through your routine. So I thought this would be good to just put in my side drawer. And then I have been wanting eye cream under eye cream for a long time, but me being me, I just couldn't justify paying so much money for like a really nice eye cream. And so um, I found this at the Dollar Tree and I was pretty excited. It's um, eye cream and it's for hydration. And it just looks like this. Creme pour les, whatever, I just butchered that. I'm sure that's in French. Um, it just says, after cleansing and toning, apply with fingertips to the eye area with gentle tapping motion. Reapply as needed. So we'll see um, how well it works. I've never tried an eye cream, so I guess I don't really have anything to compare it to. But we'll see if, it's, if it makes a difference. I'll let you guys know. And then... Uh, the last thing that I got was these eye pads. They're kind of like an eye mask for under your eyes because I have always, even before having kids, um, have had dark under eye circles. So I thought this would be good to try. I always see April Athena 7 or her blog channels, April Justin TV. Absolutely love her. If you guys follow her, you guys should go and let her know that. I absolutely love her so um, she's the cutest thing ever anyway she's always um, raving about masks and under eye masks and things like this so I thought of her when I saw this um, it says you keep it on for 15 minutes it, they had two different kinds and this one was the vitamin C kind and I figured it would be good it says directions use once a week after cleansing apply the pads under the eyes and remove after 15 minutes so there's water Glycerin, ascorbic acid, mose, protein, oh, witch hazel extract, um, root extract. So we'll see how it works. I mean, willing to try it. So um, we also got, Stephen wanted, oh, just kidding, guys. I forgot one thing. Um, my Dollar Tree doesn't have a lot of good beauty products, so I'm, I think I'm going to have to check out another one we have about one two four maybe five like in my area so I'll have to check those out but the one that I went to didn't have a whole lot of a selection but they did have these SC strips nail strips I have tried the Sally Hansen and I've tried another kind before um, and they chip really easily but I mean for a dollar I'm willing to try them and they're SC SC is a really good nail polish brand so yeah, these ones are like, the undertone is like nude, and then it looks like it has a gray, um, like a reptile print on it. I don't know if you guys will be able to catch that. So, yeah. So, that's it. That's everything I got, um, except for Steven got like this little brush, because he's grown out his beard, and he's been using my brush to brush his beard. So, he was like, I just need to get my own, and it's like a little mini brush. I think he took it with him to work, so... That is all. That is my first Dollar Tree haul. I'm super excited. Like I said, I'll be back Friday, and so I will surely be doing another haul. If there's any suggestions of what I should be looking for, any um, anything, I mean, anything at all, I'm always open to suggestions. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited about um, this haul, and I'll let you guys know how any of these products, how these products have turned out if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below make sure to like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't bye guys